Hey, I'm Nick Alphon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM21. It's Stage Racer. We're on episode number 10. We're getting the entirety of this stage, even though it's just a minor punchy stage, but we're... Oh, gosh, I don't have full team support. Oh, crap. What a day to not get the full team support. This is going to be a chaotic stage from the get-go. Reason being, it's only 87k in length, and I There's suddenly find myself away. with just two riders. I don't need to be doing the chasing, but I do need the support. Drizner's the other one that I have. Drizner's at least will offer a little bit. 71 mountain rating for him. Just two climbs, but it finishes on that second lengthy climb. I mean, that's a good 20k. It's just not very steep. It's not hard as far as climbs go, but it's not going to be easy. All right, no the breakaway now. Drizner's follow. The pack is back on level terms with the breakaway that tempo. group. Ready to go. Five riders going clear. There we go. Back down to six. Some team managers mustn't appreciate the fact that there is a breakaway, given that the pack has increased its speed. Ah, Rich Tillo. We got Rich Tillo now. Okay, that's good. Down. And he's not going to be able to carry on. Forward, please. Let's hope it doesn't jeopardize the rest of his season. Eh. <laughs> just took place in the that lasted for Some a few seconds. On the I hate these kind of stages. Because you don't actually a get the team support that you need. Breakaway. A rider just launched an attack. First climb. Let's see, 81 we're struggling. But ultimately keeping position. Eight riders off the front now. But they are going full gas. So they've already lost one. Now a second. I'm going to lose Laverick before too long. Now a third. Just five riders left. And with that full gas, they now shatter completely. At the top, anyway. Okay, Laverick made it through. Drizner's is fine. And I've already recovered. 99 left in the peloton. The two groups up the road have stayed split. The gap is growing wider as three are in the front, two off the back, so more firepower at the front. Possibly a better descender. Prisoners back to full strength. Laverick looking pretty good as well. Goin and Andrade involved in the chase. As we sit third today, I don't expect there to be time gaps, but you never know. I have a 77 hill rating. Could be a factor late on. 75 from the resistance the looks pretty good. But apparently 25k to go and we begin the final climb. Next rider being brought alone. back. A rider has a flat tire. Let's hope he has helped out quickly. I'd love to sprint train from the get-go. That was my plan really for this stage. The pack can't the sprint train, control pace. Set myself up for a push to the line for a sprint and maybe a go at a high placement, but not happening. Last two riders off the front now. Trade doing the work. That was the hardest part of the climb. We only have two more steeper sections. One of those, very short and coming up fairly soon. And now I've lost control of Laverick because Burgoyne was dropped. So now I only have a single team member in support. This is kind of ridiculous that I'm the full team leader and yet uh, it's, that's the team's treatment. The 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 yeah, eventually I'll no be a chance. proper team leader. Okay, that was that second uphill section. It wasn't bad at all. We're sitting at 2% right now. Rich Tello now to the front. Running one after another. Something Breakaway's like done the by the way. The 88 riders, riders left the in the peloton. The 10k to go now, but with only one team member, I can't just push and go to the front. I'm sort of stuck. 8k. And I've definitely burnt through some energy. Now, it's the final 3k or so that's pretty steep. Still not the steepest. It was the base of the climb that was the hardest. Rich Tello, he's done. He's fading. Arkea taking over. Four and a half K. It's almost reindeer. But not quite. 
2.6. Gel. Prisoners. Push. 1.9. Again! An attack is locked! The group has to break apart! Final kilometer. Full sprint for him. And full sprint for me. Prisoners is gonna is finish just in front of me. Pace. Quintana's gonna win again, isn't he? And it's a superb sprint win for Quintana. Prisoners grab set. Oh, winner Anacona. Hmm. I thought I was clear, but guess not. Fourth place. No bonus. I was happy to let Drizners have six. It, it was only costing me two seconds, but I thought I had four wrapped up, which is why I didn't worry about backing off with Drizners so that I could move up a spot. Figured it kept che Chevalier away from grabbing. He was only 10th. No time gaps there, so Quintana gains 10 seconds and I gain nothing. That hurts a bit more than gaining four. But my race really isn't against him, it's against Chevalier. And so we enter a very confusing stage four. It's 9.2 kilometers, it's very short, and you have a descent followed by an uphill finish. I feel like this is the kind that you can go 99 on, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I've not seen a single member of my team go below 50% on energy, so I'm assuming 99 is doable. Based on 9.2k, this is mostly prologue. Today I've got a plus 8 on that. I've got a fantastic race day condition. I'm going to make a huge, huge difference. That fitness peak and objective really, really paying off. 79 on the time trial, so we're right in between the two, mostly uh, just about that 80, like a 79.7, 79.8. That could and should be an excellent time. Let's see what we can do with this one and see if going flat out 99 is good. I now have the green jersey, though it's not mine. I'm just second. Quintana leads every classification except one, which is the under 25s. I am using actually quite a bit of energy here on this descent, so I don't know if I'll be able to go... Uh, 99 the rest of the way. We'll, we'll have to s save just a little bit because we're going to start riding here quite soon. With that First check, he's on track through that time check, time. but what can we do the rest of the way? We're going 92, we're going 94. I think we can just go 99 the rest of the way. I don't see why not. It's 2.5k. We've got lots of yellow bar. 35k. Without the red bar, you can see I am slower. Without the red bar, I'm definitely slower. See, my pace is fluctuating a lot, so there is something behind that red bar. But you can see I'm nowhere near max. We'll see what the final is on this one. Cross the line. Fifth. So I lost that lead Whoa, on that climb, not maximizing it. Forward. Chevalier goes to the top. Quintana's probably going to do likewise with his 80 mountain rating. He doesn't, but he does go a few seconds ahead of me. Seventh on the stage, not good performance. I've got to get some experience in PCM21 in time trials, but my career mode just hasn't happened, and I have no time trialists there. So this is the first rider that I've started to get a little bit of experience on, and I don't have the free time to be running additional campaigns to test that out. Uh, for those who have tracked anything and everything that you've been following in terms of my life the last two months have been just utter chaos and insanely insanely busy uh, and aren't getting any better i'm hitting the road here in a few hours to spend another weekend at my parents preparing their house uh, for them to move well anyway uh not the performance i was hoping for but yeah the 99 thing did not pan out so uh, that red bar does matter. There was a serious 5-6 km per hour fluctuation in speed when the red bar wasn't there. And then it would recover, it would bounce back, and we'd speed back up, and then it would drop and speed up and drop. So that red bar does matter. you got to watch out for that. Final stage coming in two parts. I'm still comfortably in third, a minute ahead of fourth place, but I'm definitely further behind Chevalier than I was. I was hoping to be ahead entering this stage. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to do this stage in two parts because we have a big cat one climb right now. 5k to go. That's it. But 
We need to up the effort to make sure we keep everybody in place. It looks like we'll be fine through this one. Pace, not that bad right now. BNB, Arkea, not setting a very high tempo. Gotta watch out though. 12 riders in the break, two and a half minutes away, and because we're not chasing hard, uh, they're not really blowing up. They lost a couple riders near the top, and I'm assuming we'll pull those guys back. That takes away a little bit of firepower, but um, even Burgoyne made it in the group. 75 left in the peloton, so we did lose some off the back here as well, and another split on the descent doesn't hold though. Comes back together. Front group did not come back together either, so that's going to make the chase a little bit easier. It's still 210 though until we catch the entirety of that group. 60k left to go. Uh, we do have that uphill finish, so we don't want to push too early, but let's get going to go back and grab uh, some water. Ten riders left off the front. Now we bring back three of those, leaving just seven at a minute 45, so that gap's slowly getting smaller. You can see recovery is not happening at this point. In fact, with the uh, gentle, uncategorized hill through that sector, it's just tiring the field out, tiring the legs out more and more for most everybody. Burgoyne is who we ride with. He's the one who's going to drop first, and he hasn't. He's held on. Those couple little descents doing just enough to allow him to recover a bit. We're down to 64 riders. Front group is shattered a bit more. Laverick, Andrade a little tired. Burgoyne very tired. And we go into our final climb. Final 15k already. Gentle uphill slope at the moment, but it's going to get a lot steeper, and then it's going to ease off before the finish. But the big climb is to come, and I think today is the kind of day where if we're going to do something, we got to do it. I've got a minute cushion line. behind me, so I've got some room to potentially make an error to overjudge. But we're going to be we're going to be movie star and play bad bad tactics, or could work out brilliant type tactics. And we can ease off a little bit. 64 chasing the front riders. Gap out to three and a half minutes, though. There's a chance that the breakaway could claim the stage today. Burgoyne's not going to last long, and Laverick's not going to last long, but this that is okay. Laverick's going to last a bit longer, though. Is, he is definitely not as fatigued. He's on a plus two t as well, so it's a little strange that he is that poor today, but that's fine. Whatever. He'll go out the back. Laverick. Out of 92 is mostly punchy, so 68 with the hill, 65. So he's he's riding about a 67 in terms of overall uh, pace right now, and that 92 effort means he's pushing 22 kilometers per hour. This is doing some damage, and now down to 7k. Okay, we're now going to ramp this up to 99 as he's still got the red bar. Or the red bar is gone, but he still has some yellow bar left. Just two riders left off the front. Gap already down to a minute 10. We really, really brought them back. 6k. All right, and we're seeing another team come up, the Portuguese team come up beside us. So let's resume the push. Meanwhile, Laverick, I want him to peel off, and then I want him to try to grab my wheel. Okay, we can break toe of whoever. And Tunes is the one who is around fourth or fifth place. we got to watch out for him. He's, uh, he's only eighth. For me, it's not damaging me with 5.6k, so that's good. Uh, Andrade. An Give that last the push. Okay, Prisoners. Two days is time. not gone too far away, so we're okay. And we push past, catching one of the remaining breakaway riders. The KOM leader. 4.6k, and remember it eases off near the top. So we need to push even harder. Tello and myself coming An through, the and there goes Quintana, 3.3, the and Quintana fading. Quinn, Richitello is fading. Richitello, swap places. Get him out of the way, get him back in the way. And on the attack, here we go. By the way, that's a group of seven that I'm leaving behind, and we attack just before you hit that little peak. And we're only attacking so hard so that we can keep going. We're doing kind of that level zero attack. 
Now we push for the line. 17 second gap that we've opened. Is it enough to hang on to? We've got the yellow bar. Gap's coming back a little bit, but we're doing it. But Chevalier and Katana are right behind me. End, Stage win. Gap's going to be small. Oh, Chevalier grabs extra seconds as well. So it's still going to end up third place. But stage win, podium, and that is what I predicted beforehand. I knew we were going to be a little bit overmatched in this one. We got the result winning where we could. I, I need some work on time trialing. And we're going to get some work on it, actually. Uh, I think I have enough time left. I was going to end the episode here, but... Let's get some work on time trialing. You'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. That should be a third place overall, but we do get a stage win, and that is the third of my career, and that is the first time that we have won a professional race after our first two victories were in youth categories. And we enter the national championships, U.S., individual time trial, and I've got a shot at a decent performance here. I'm just inside the top 10 favorites but of course with the lack of experience that I have in the discipline I'll be hard pressed to claim that top five we'll see what we can do I do have the race day condition looking really good there's that plus four again as we have that uh, plus two base actually so we did draw a plus two net as we still have the fitness peak and uh, the fitness is at 98 percent so looking really strong so in, in those regards and i think we can push harder than the 76 it looks like there's a little bit of a descent sector two is a little bit uphill but i can see pushing a little harder the old standard 76 is just not a thing anymore I have a 78 time trialing and an 82 prologue, and it's almost 50-50 split. So that's an 80 between them today. So I actually could turn out a really good performance when you throw in the stamina resistance factor uh, and any climbing that may exist. I'm looking very strong for a great time, but I'm not quite pushing hard enough here. I was 23rd, 26 seconds down at the first checkpoint. You can see now at 90, I'm starting to eat up that red bar just a little bit. But we'll have that descent, so I think we'll be okay. For now, I want to kind of hold this here. Okay, back off. We don't want to lose the red bar, 87. 89, I'm guessing we're going to be much higher up. Third place, 19 seconds down. Yes, we are much higher up. Got to keep that little bit of red bar, though. That's the one we're watching. Yellow bar is just fine. But as we noted last time, running out of red bar is bad. Very bad. Well, we are pushing into the 80s. That's good. Out of the saddle. Working hard. Downhill. 1K to go. Now 99-ish. Shoot. Red bar ran out just before the line. Good time, third place right now. Third place, okay. So much better. Apparently I'm figuring it out. Ian Garrison was sixth of both checks. He goes fifth just behind me. You got Barta still left. There's there's just that few riders left to go. So my chances of a top five are really good. But they thought I should finish top three today, and I'm not sure if that was going to be possible. And it almost was, but I finished fourth place. Team's going to be disappointed. For me... That was just about what we were capable of. I was fifth fastest. I finished fourth fastest. Started a little slow. Could have gone a little bit harder out of the blocks. That's what cost me those five seconds. Thought three would have been possible with that little bit more experience uh, than what I have. But yeah, it was good. It was good. Team's still not going to be overly thrilled because I only finished fourth when they wanted to top three. But it'll be worth some points. And speaking of some points, it should be enough. Maybe. We'll see. It should be enough to uh, level up. Oh, only six points. Fourth place in your national championship in your first year, and you only gained six points because they wanted a top three. It was less than what they wanted. All right, well, we're going to have to go to the road race to then level up six more points. I was really hoping we'd have that. I don't know what the road race is going to look like, but we will find out next time. That's going to do it for this one. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. 
like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.